Quest and Crane came out from the idea of something that lifts you and gets you going. It's interesting that you mentioned the, the classic part of it because we came up with a lot of very modern, hip and kind of almost like trendy names. And, um, and then we kind of retracted from them because we wanted that, we wanted to, to kind of pass on that legacy from the from for the coffee like the, the history it's, it's, it's like a it's, 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 it's a process that's been going on for a long time that it's it's it, kind of a, that that uh sophisticated, sophisticated intricate thing we didn't want it to sound simple and and kind of cool uh we wanted people to think of it as an elaborate thing so aside from lifting getting you going and stuff like that we looked for a name that that sounded classic and uh, and that industrial feel that that you are that you are mentioning it's it's a big part of the of the branding itself. Our selection of coffee comes very much from from the suggestions that we get from my family at the farms. They are our our first guide on on choosing what we bring into into our collection. And in fact, the family collection was something that the family picked, not us. Uh, and we respected that. Um, in fact, many people questioned that we were bringing. They're like, well, you're starting. It might be too many choices. Uh, and we went with it. We, we created the family collection box. We wanted people to, to identify the difference in coffees and stuff like that. So we take a lot on the, on the family when it comes to that. Um, and the fact that it's a state coffee, that they take so much... Uh, time also on producing very specific uh, types of coffee in the, through the process, we wanted to keep that kind of as it was. So blending might be something that comes into the future, but for now we wanted to give it raw. We wanted to give the coffee as it is, as it comes from the farm, respecting respecting that, that process as an initial take in our company. And we also wanted to see um, kind of the, the spectrum of what you know, the family farms had so that we ourselves could try some new things. And we also wanted to, to kind of go through that journey, that experience with our clients. Um, um, of course, some friends and family have, have helped support um, and we really welcome the feedback and we would like to know, you know, what do you guys think about X, Y, and Z? Um, is it the same as what we think? Um, does it mirror or reflect what the family actually says it should taste like? And, you know, so we're kind of learning with them and that's why we kind of wanted to bring these different kinds of of coffees here so we can kind of learn together what people like what people don't like and um kind of go go from there together so right now we have the family collection which is a collection of the five coffees in four ounce bags um and that's kind of to give people a taste to like, the opportunity to taste all our coffee so they can select their favorite basically uh, and then we also all the five coffees in in 12 ounce bags as well as four ounce bags separately from the collection so people can choose um, how they want to to take it um, we're, we're really fortunate to have you know obviously that family that relationship has allowed us to get green coffee here very quickly um, and then be roasted to order so that you know we could we could have coffee that's you know from the farm literally to your cup brewed um, in, in we say in days so it could be you know, it could be as, as, little as, as, as little as 10 to 12, 10 to 12 days. days. So we are, we're fortunate to have a very quick turnaround from the farm. Then when it gets here, uh, we're taking orders, obviously every, every day of the week is so online, um, but we roast only twice a week. So we are roasting on Wednesdays and on Fridays. We're shipping on Thursdays and on Saturdays. That way we guarantee that, that, we, can, that we can ship um, right after after people have have uh, ordered, and we can roast right after people have ordered. Um, and we're also roasting in very small batches of, of maximum five pounds. For now, it's been a little challenging because then we get to keep a lot of coffee for our own consumption. We we want to stay true to our to our message of roasting uh, to order. So if we don't get enough orders, we still have to ship. So we ship it, and then we keep the rest. Um, so that's been a little bit challenging, but I think with time we'll be able to to actually sell more or the coffee that, that we're roasting right now. I'm Ingrid Adolf. I'm Evan Carbati. 
husband and wife, founders of Hoist and Crane Coffee. And this is a Roaster Spotlight Mini.